chat GBT, it, it's changing the game in terms of what we are capable of as humans and what we're up against when it comes to basically artificial intelligence. But for example, for personal trainers, it, it limits, it can be potentially a dangerous thing for us or can be used as a tool. For example, if you have a client that has a very specific dietary requirement, requirement, you could ask ChatGBT, write me a meal plan that is based around this dietary requirement with this many calories and this many protein targets. Um, write me a whole week of it and tailor it to that. Then create it in a table format and then create different options. It can be that simple and that quick. And then can you can you say to it export this as a PDF? Yeah, potentially you could you could even code it into a blog site if you wanted. So write me in in the form of HTML, and then you could have it in a in a coded site, and then you could maybe just hire someone to create a logo for it, and bam, there you go. You've got a meal plan that is dedicated to gluten uh, gluten free people. You so know? is is this is this something that? is in the early stages or is this specific what's it called chat gbt chat so GBT. i believe it's only been open for um a month just over a month now and it's been rapidly increased in capacity already because it's been open to the wide world um to the public but essentially this is very much the same thing when um the first iphone came out this is version one so in about two to three years time, who knows what version this will become um, to the mainstream. But essentially, we doesn't, it doesn't mean that you are limited in terms of what you do. It's, it's more of importance that you actually adapt to it and actually use it to the tool that it is. So you can become really good at prompting it and you've still got to be able to ask it the right questions for you to actually get the desired result. So for example, if you wanted to write uh if you wanted to write a letter to an agent that was actually specific to that agency you might need to feed it some information but then essentially if you wanted to actually get um certain things across to it in a certain funny way if you wanted to it to make it sound like david brent you could make it sound like david brent if you wanted it to it's 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 genuinely that wild how how revolutionary this thing is but you are able to do that and then you can still be creative in your mind to edit it yeah that's for something that's in the early stages and it's it's hard for me to put into words what this does really because mm. you know I, I've heard in the past people say like oh AI is going to take over and all of this sort of stuff and I never really had an example that I was like oh yeah I could see that being you know mm. being intelligent and growing and but this is probably the first time I've actually realized something is that intelligent that you can f like feed in so T tiny pieces of information and say write me a poem or write me a two-act screenplay write me a joke you know yeah. it's literally anything so do you think it, do you think this will go too far um i think it's going to be an inevitability if i'm being totally honest with you the fact that it's open to it can be open to public um but there are limits on this it's not like you can it's still going to be governed in some way. It has to be. You can't like write in it. Oh, um, how do I wipe out the in entire race? It won't. It won't give you an answer for that because it's governed and it's you know rightly so. But essentially, you, um, we are in a world where I think, and I've read about it. Someone said that forty percent of the jobs that we live we have today in society will disappear. Forty percent. That's a huge number across the board, especially when you think about, and it's not, this is not, this is just alarming, but it shouldn't be necessarily to be, we should be worried, but we, we should also be alarmed and ready to adapt to that. And if you are doing that, then you're going to, you're going to be okay. You might need to shift where your career is going. So for example, if you are a, are a playwright, you would just simply add this to your arsenal because there's going to be some lazy fucker out there that is just basically going to go write me a playwright on this and then i'm going to take it to a producer who's going to say yes that's going to happen you're going to get ai screen um scripts made you're going to there's going to be an ai play there's going to be an ai musical you know but at the same time nothing can then replace the you still can't replace 
the human emotional connection that would bring pen to paper. Yeah, no, I don't think you're going to you're going to replace the. Um, <clears throat> Just, it's so interesting, isn't it? Like, yeah. I'm, I'm just kind of mind blown now. And it's the vol. It's not just about how how you could get some piece of genius. It's the volume of how you can create that genius. And and because we do live in a society that is that is prior to prioritizing content over quality. It's yeah, perfect for some people. Yeah, it's 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 it. It is a case of the video that I I saw about it was from um, a business mentor it's not mine but like he's just a he's like ferocious in the space and he's called alex hamosi and his title is adapt or die mm. and it is literally that i think if you are arrogant enough to think that ai will not replace human intelligence to a certain degree then you will essentially be further behind you'll be lost yeah you'll be lost or you could just shut off shut off from it com- completely and not but we're looking at Especially when it comes to like, think about the tills in a supermarket. They 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 will be automatically replaced. I mean, we're near, we're nearly already already there. But then, essentially, if you look at that, you look at um, you look at um, restaurants. You you chefs. You you will get an AI chef, a robot that is able to actually make you something so good, en masse, real quick in the next ten years. Yeah, I mean, you look at the film industry, they use robots all the time. Mm. There's a robot called the Bolt that they use for, you would have seen it, it's like, it, it looks like a car manufacturing yeah, yeah. robot. Mm. Whack a camera on there and you can so precisely uh, recreate the same movement and the same shot mm. every single time mm-hmm. that, it, you know, the, the easiest application is that you can have an empty space with, a thousand views mm-hmm. because you just you film yourself in one place you yeah. take a step to the left and the camera is doing exactly the same thing the motion so as well. so you can just add the you can just layer the video on top of it and it's yeah this is this is um this is something very i find it equal parts scary and equal parts interesting because it is the application for what this could be doing in the future is scary it's scary and incredible it's it's i'm so torn with it because it's not like i don't want it to happen it's just the fact that it because it i feel like it's just such a fact that it is going to happen that you kind of just go okay but what does that mean then i think the other thing is it's, it's also in real time that's yeah. the thing that's amazing is that it yeah. doesn't take it doesn't take five minutes for it to generate something mm. you know the example you just showed me write me a script or write me a poem it literally writes the poem out word for word as you, yeah. and you watch it happen. Mm. So like you said, like the tills at like supermarkets, yeah, that's going to disappear because if the AI can actually do things in real time, that speed, so many applications for this type of AI. We live in a world where 20 years ago, things like Just Eat, Deliveroo, Amazon wasn't even like a thing. But now you could even be at a point where you, the supermarket in, themselves don't exist. So, for example, it could be as simple as you, you're starting to get your groceries delivered to your door. You are and more accessibly, especially in London. But essentially, you could just write a shopping list on an application and they deliver it to you the same day. And then it can predictably know what it is that you're down on because certain objects are of your shopping list that are emptying the fridge is not there so they can replenish it. I know it sounds ridiculous, but that's how fast it can be. Well, we've got smart fridges now anyway. Yeah. So you've got fridges that could easily have that application. You know, the the shelf could have weight on it, or yeah. it could have a section where you put your certain things mm. and it knows where it is, and you, as soon as you take it out and you used it, it mm. orders you a new one. You already got it already with Alexa and all of that, you know. Alexa, add yeah. this to my shopping list. That's it. So that's 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 ultimately the the... I can't describe it, the scary, but also fascinating thing about it. But the important thing is, is that how can, the the way that I think about it is how can I use that to my advantage? How can I use that to my advantage for, in every, every area of my life, but then also for my career, for my health, for creative ideas that I want to do, you know, it's, it's going to be really important to kind of understand that we have that. You don't have to obsess about it, but you do have to kind of be aware that, that this is a thing. Mm. And if we are, then 
I don't know. It's it's going to, I just think we're going to, and obviously because I have a son, education is going to change for him completely. Completely. I think most kids won't remember, well, won't be taught how to write. No, they won't. They won't. It'll be an added skill. Mm. Like, like, I don't know, like fencing or something. Do you know what I mean? Like it'll be just, it'll be, it'll, it'll, it'll become almost redundant that they would have to do it. So why would they, why would, teachers en masse be forced to teach someone to do something that isn't relevant anymore. It's like teaching Latin now. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly it. It's exactly that. So yeah, it's fascinating. 